Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Design Talk, I want to share this with you guys. So I saw um, an image of this on Banggood, and it was uh, in a, a machined out of aluminum. And it was a little bit kind of hokey with the way the screws were, but I really like the idea that it was a center finder plus sort of a straight edge. And I'll get into that in a minute. However, what I really want to share in this is how I went into uh, Fusion 360 and I designed this. Now, this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial in Fusion 360, but I want to share, the, you know, the concept of how you can take something, reverse engineer it a bit, uh, make it better, 3D print it, and voila, you have the tool right then and there. So let's kind of jump back with this. So this is a circle finder. So now the idea behind the core aspect of this is you can take something round, you can put it inside these um, these jaws such as this, and you can come up with the center of the circle. Now this is great for woodworking, etc. And so you know you just basically cross the center, and then you can turn the the round object. And because of the the size of this uh, mouth, and the, that it's at you know two forty fives or ninety turned, you know it allows you to find the center. And I knocked a couple holes in it, sort of like the original, just to kind of cut down on the plastic and printing. And you really don't need, you know, that much rigidity. However, you can also take this and use this on the back side against something square. to kind of use it as a straight edge, as a marker, running your pencil against there. So it's got multiple uses. And the idea is, is it uses a standard... Um, ruler so you can get a bunch of bunch of these uh, I got this one from Harbor Freight of Centec there they're all over it's kind of got that cork back but I recessed this and I have another one here just to kind of show you so I've recessed this uh, into the plastic and I've set a center construction line across the center of this now what I've also done is I've made this bottom piece parametric because obviously you want to keep this center piece center at, at, at all times with this because this is what's going to give you the center for your circle so this piece is the piece that will expand so I've set up and, and dimension this so I have a parametric variable so I can set it for roughly any type any width of ruler and it'll make that and then what I've also done is I've dimensioned these two holes to kind of move with it um, because there's also a recess for each one of these two holes because what I've done is I've used some quarter 20 nylon screws and by the way for folks. The um, ability of Fusion 360 to do threads and print them is phenomenal. So I've done quarter 20 threads inside this plastic. I did not have to chase these with a tap at all. These just these nylon bolts just screwed in like butter. I am really, really impressed. Um, so yeah, the, the, the uh, holes are pre-tapped, you know, pre-threaded. So you just kind of screw it in. So, you know, I think this is a really cool design. Now, I also think this is a really cool base design. Look for, for more modifications to be coming to this. I also am going to probably do up a smaller version. This one's rather large to do, you know, bigger circles because I wanted it to go on this 12, 12 inch um, ruler. Uh, but I'm going to make up probably a smaller version for a pocket scale. And I'm going to probably build some other functionality. I'm still working on some of those things. But I really wanted to share this. I'll have this out on Thingiverse. i also have the Fusion 360 file out on Thingiverse. Now, the other piece is, you know, I, I kind of want to share with you, you know, don't be overly concerned with Fusion 360. You might say, well, Mr. DIY 3D Tech .com, I really don't know how to use Fusion 360. Well, it, it's actually very easy. So once you load this model in, you know, basically it's just file load. You go down over here and I'll have an overlay where you can change the parameter for this. And you just export it as an STL, print it out, and boom, Bob's your uncle. And you have a center finder that fits your ruler. Because I've got a bunch of different size rulers. So I'm going to make a couple of different sizes of these because I think this is really handy. And this also creates the basis for designing other tools. I really like the idea of multifunctional tools. Um, you know, so that's when I saw this, I really like the idea that, you know, again, I can do circles, but I can also do, you know, use this as a straight edge or sort of a T-square. And if I want to change my ruler settings uh, for this, all I do is loosen these um, screws. I can slide my ruler and then just tighten them down. And so I can adjust them for, uh, you know, 
whatever I need. Again, if I want to, you know, draw a line, I just can just hold my pencil against it and move it like that across, you know, my surface here. So, so again, I think pretty neat um, little build. So, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Again, kind of the intent here is to show you some design concepts for you to go out there, design some stuff of your own. Um, give you guys a little bit of inspiration. Also, kind of maybe some tips on, on Fusion 360. You know, what are the tips? Threading. Threading is super cool on Fusion 360. 360. Um, the other piece parametric or making things parametric really cool really easy functions in fusion 360 fusion 360 is really unbelievably easy to use once you get over being sort of afraid of the the uh, constraints most people run into the constraint problem uh, the other big tip i'm going to give you is when you go to take away from something the body has to be active if you don't know what i'm talking about you will figure that out so just you know be forewarned to take away something there has to be something there and you can't take away from a sketch. So, again, more bonus tips for you guys. So, anyways, again, big thumbs up. Wait, wait, what? You've come here and you're not a subscriber. You got to hit the subscribe button. You got to do me that favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, hey, leave a comment. What else would you like to see me uh, maybe talk about in a design talk episode, build, you know, Fusion 360, OpenSCAD, what have you? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Are there any other uses I can build into this? I got a few ideas, but I'm not sharing them just yet. And uh, hey, bell icons over there. Go down there, hit that so you're notified of new content. Swag shop up there, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Oh,